let's solve this question together now we are given s cube minus x equals to minus 119 sorry s cube minus s minus 119 equals to 1 all right solution so s cube minus x minus 119 equals to 1 so from here we can write this one as s cube minus x equals to 119 plus 1 so that will s cube minus x equals to 120 all right now we know that something cube minus that 10 will give me this so if i should plug in 5 this side will be 5 cube minus 5 so 125 minus 5 will give me 120 so what i'm going to do here is to you know take this okay so i have x cube minus x equals to 125 minus 5 which is the same as 120 so i have done nothing so s cube minus x equals 125 minus 5 now you can write this side as 5 cube minus 5 5 cube 125 5 5 i've done nothing s cube minus x now let's arrange this one okay so it will be s cube minus 5 cube so this one is in minus x plus 5 equals to 0 okay now from here when we are given x cube minus b cube is the same as x minus b times x squared plus the product of the two x b plus the square of the last term b squared so this side will be x minus 5 x squared minus plus okay the product 5x plus 5 squared equals to 0 all right now from here with the so we have minus x plus 5 minus x plus 5 equals to 0 so we can write this one as x minus 5 x squared plus 5x plus 25 minus x minus 5 equals to 0 so in going back this side will be minus this side will be plus now we can take x minus 5 out here that will be x minus 5 and i'll be left with x squared plus 5x plus 25 okay so i will have it minus minus 1 over there equals to 0 now in going back this side will be this and this side will be minus one times that okay so with the zero products x minus five equals zero therefore the first answer for this is equals five so let's focus on this as well x squared 
plus 5x plus 25 minus 1 equals to 0. Let's confirm. Okay, 25 minus 1. All right, from here, we can arrange this one as x squared plus 5x. So 25 minus 1 is plus 24 equals to 0. Okay, now this one is a quadratic. Let's group this one ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So we have a equals 1, b equals 5, and c equals 24. So with the almighty formula, half minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac on 2a. So let's solve for the other solutions. So x will be now b equals 5. So minus 5 plus or minus b squared, 5 squared, 4 times a times c on 2 times 1. So x minus 5 plus or minus. 25 minus so 4 for 16 4 and 4 4 to 8 so we have 96 96 on 2 okay so from here side of x minus 5 plus or minus so 96 minus 25 will be 71 on 2 all right so we have x minus 5 so this side is minus 71 plus or minus now let's write this one as square root of negative 1 times 71 because from complex numbers square root of negative 1 is the same as i on 2 so we have minus 5 plus or minus square root of 71 times square root of minus 1 on 2 so x minus 5 plus or minus. So square root of 71 i on 2. On 2. So my x to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 71 i on 2. In my x3. That's the third solution. Okay, so the third solution will be minus 5 minus square root of 71i on 2. All right, so that's that. All right, so thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more exciting videos like this.